What's up guys, it's Wombat here, and today I'm going to mansplain to you probably the most obscure competitive Beyblade Burst combo you'll ever see in any Burst format ever. Are you ready for it? Well, you must be because like, it's gonna be in the title, but, and the thumbnail, but this is the, this is the combo. It's Quad Quetzal Cattle Yell Extreme for Burst Classic, and you might be thinking, Wombat, what is this combo? Uh, because who uses Quad Quetzal Cattle? And like, on extreme of all things, but let, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mansplain how it works. So, um, for, this combo was designed to be an anti-attack. I made a video on those a long time ago. It's a pretty bad video in terms of like quality and everything else, but like it, the information's there so if you want to watch it. I will put a link in the description, but anyways, Q2, the layer. Um, this is actually something that I tested for when it first came out. I tested it for like raw defense because I know people said it was good for that. I found it to be a little bit worse than Kaiser Kirbyus, which was, I think at that time, still the best for raw defense, um, in terms of both, both KO and burst. But it was still pretty good. I also noticed that it has, like, the kind of... Launch this second. This is Excalius, but you can still kind of see the resemblance. It's got kind of like the... Excalibur looking shape with the point at the bottom But the smooth edges so it was like okay, maybe this thing hits kind of like Excalibur does and I tested it a few times and it does um, Not as powerful as Excalibur or Excalius, but it does like have the occasional strong hits with this point um, So the way I figured this could be used was on an anti-attack combo, one that has like enough power to KO or burst um, weaker to average stamina types depending on your skill with extreme, and also be able to defeat attack types and attack versus attack matches consistently. So for that I used the disc yell, which um, is actually pretty heavy for a classic disc, it's 21.3. And which is almost as heavy as heavy, which is 21.6 in gravity. It just kind of got swept under the rug because it was released so close to before the core discs came out that everyone kind of forgot about Yell, but it's probably one of the better discs in Burst Classic. Um, I used it because of the weight and also because of uh, the way it's shaped means that when Extreme tips over, when things like Heavy or Force where I guess even gravity would kind of scrape, Yell kind of avoids that for like a few seconds longer just because uh, it's kind of raised on the edges. So it helps it a little bit, despite having like some less than stellar same spin stamina in just terms of raw stamina. And also this is like, probably doesn't help anything at all, but it's something that I like. Uh, Yell lines up perfectly with the point on Q2. So you kind of have like the the one impact thing going on from Excalibur. Probably doesn't do anything though. If anything, it like makes it symmetrically balanced on the layer. So I guess that's something. And then the driver is extreme. Uh, generally for this, you'll want to use the extreme that is the least grippy and the one that has. Um, the one that you use the least, which for me in this case is my the extreme I got from Dragoon, just because it has the most circular shape still, it hasn't been worn down, and the rubber's not as grippy so it will have uh, better stamina as well. This just makes it easier for you to um, attack Tornado Stallers and outspin other attack types that are using extreme. So it'll allow you to, de to defeat combos on Excel or Zephyr or Iron, and probably even Hunter too, while um, still being able to outspin extreme combos. So if it doesn't KO or burst them. So I'll show some of this combo in action. Like, 
just to prove that it does work because it's a really weird combo. Okay, so now we're going to test this combo against a bunch of uh, classic combos. Up first is going to be... Uh, let's go with a burst attacker first. Let's go with Rocktivore Armed Weight versus Quad Quetzal Cattle Yellow Extreme. Alright, so up next is against uh, Unicrest Gravity Survive, one of the better Hasbro defense stamina combos. So, like, there was a lot of cut footage in this because I could not get the sliding shoot right at all, and I self KO'd like 20 different times. But if you can actually slide shoot this combo right, which I can't seem to do today, that was basically a 3 0 win against Unicrest. So, let's go with that. Zero for Q2.
a close one, but yeah. The Z2 almost bursted, but that's 3-2. I'd say that Mixed Attack is definitely, or just Tornado Stories, is definitely the hardest matchup for this combo. Just because it relies so much on how both you and your opponent launch. Like which side of the Tornado Ridge you push your launcher on or whether you sliding shoot. So it's it's a more difficult matchup for this combo for sure. So up next is just against uh, Stamina, Acid Anubis, Knuckle Revolve. Matchup against stationary revolve or just other stationary stamina combos isn't too difficult as long as you can actually sliding shoot this combo correctly. So last but not least, we're going to test it against uh, the combo it's supposed to be matched up against, which is uh, Valtyrek Triple Extreme. It's first priority, 1-0 for Q2. Two zero for Q two. All right. So, um, sorry about uh some of the rounds where the music or the sound just cut out during those battles. Uh, my dog started barking a few times, so I had to like mute those just because it was too much background noise but uh overall quad quetzal cattle yell extreme is kind of a it's like a weird niche combo that didn't i didn't really get to show off at the the first time around just because of the way the releases lined up and the way i attended tournaments just meant that uh Things like Lost Longinus on hold and then Drain Fafnir on Atomic would make it completely irrelevant because its main purpose was to counter attackers as an anti-attacker. And since, while also being able to uh, hold its own against some like stamina combos and some of like the weaker defense stamina hybrids, or the, the less defensive ones. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to use this a few times in Classic, just because with the dash drivers, I feel like KO Attack will be much used much more frequently, which is also exciting because it will give me a chance to use things like uh, Unite. I'll hopefully be making a video on that soon, TM. There's at least two more combos I want to make videos about in Classic, but I'm running out of time. Uh, but overall, you might ask, like, should you use Extreme Dash instead of Extreme? And I'd say, maybe. Um, it's definitely going to reduce the self-bursting and make it a little, give it a lot more KOing power. But I'd still be kind of wary about the stamina loss. Like, you could lose to, you could be outspun by something on Extreme or something on Hunter if you do use Extreme Dash on this combo. And, uh, yeah, if you notice, I actually switched extremes a few times throughout the testing just because 
It turns out my white one has a weaker spring and it was causing it to self burst a lot more, even though this one can't tornado stall as well. It's a bit grippier, so it doesn't have as much stamina, but it has like more attack power and it also doesn't self burst as much, so yeah, just and I feel like in the end that was more important than having one that could tornado stall well and had a bit more stamina. So I was wrong about that to begin with, but either way, this combo is really interesting. It's not something that a lot of people would think of or even heard of, so that's why I'm pretty excited to uh, share it with everyone here on this video. I don't know, I'm either going to do like my KO defense combo or the Dragoon combo that Shindog recommended be next. But, uh, I don't know which one, when those will be, so I'll see you then.